moi connais que parce que tu gagné un nettoyage, je t'ai fait dans yon rue avec e bacolodeur, moi même moi pensais que c'est bacolodeur là qui a passé. C'est le par exemple, moi vinn garder moi ouais Kai avec moi on vinn ap rencontrer ensemble. Le ça et puis moi moi couru. Je me couru et puis m'a prélé Jésus Jésus. Nous pas gain kai, nous pas gain rate, nous pas gain manger, nous nous pas gain intimité, nous très vulnérable. In the initial days after the earthquake, CRS was in full emergency response mode. Immediately the, the first days we started to buy things knowing what they would probably need in response in, in Haiti. Even from the very beginning, when we were quite preoccupied with trying to meet these urgent needs, we were thinking about the longer term. In the early phases, it was uh, basically stabilizing the population in emergency assistance, protecting and saving lives. In the second phase, we constructed 10,000 temporary houses, started helping communities get reestablished in different areas, uh, did surveying of the education systems there, started working on the healthcare systems, and then started trying to generate livelihoods through some agricultural productions in different areas. So really, in the second and third year, after we got through the recovery phase, we really started focusing much more on development. One of the long-term challenges in, in Port-au-Prince has been permanent housing. This has been an issue that predates the earthquake. Nous t'aimons mais normalement vivre dans un bon jantaï et puis normalement en façon comme si que pour nous capables de mener une vie normale. At CRS, we're working with with the local government, the the local banking institutions, and USAID to work on a housing solution that allows poor individuals to find access to to funding to build permanent housing. The, the mayor's office has provided the land, which is approximately 28 acres, and we're looking at building 2,000 housing units on this site. I want to go to the house, I want to go to the address. I want to go to the house, I want to go to the house, I want to go to the house, I want to go to the house. In the area of health, we've been working with the Catholic health system uh, in Haiti, uh, which is comprised of eight different hospitals. In particular, CRS has worked with the Catholic Health Association in, and the Archdiocese in rebuilding the hospital of San Francois de Sales. Uh, and we're still in the process, but hopefully by the end of this year, the construction will be finished, will be fitting the hospital, and it will be able to start serving patients you know, more actively. Hospital San Francois will be a modern facility with, uh, I would say, state-of-the-art uh, structure to provide services for the, for the poor, but also to serve as, as a training space for medical students. Throughout Haiti, the church has a Catholic education committee, and we've worked closely with them on mapping the needs of the different education uh, facilities and structures within Haiti so we know where we need to rebuild, where we need to invest in areas. CRS's partners, the Catholic Church and Notre Dame University in the U.S., did a massive survey and found that teacher training, the quality of education, was a big area of, of opportunity. So today, we're doing a, a teacher training for over a thousand teachers in three dioceses. And from there, we'll go on and work in the other seven dioceses in the years to come. What I like about the CRS approach is that we invest in the countries and the communities where we work. We're not arriving on a scene and leaving a few months later. We're investing in the countries where we work because we work with the local partners, we work with the communities, and we establish relationships with them. Nous te vin la CRS c'est lit partenaire nous. Et puis avec eux même nous a faire route là parce que nous connaît avec eux même gain espoir.